Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike, and today we are watching the trailer for Maxine. Finally! Good lord, when's it gonna be my time? The time is now. Maxine, the trailer came out yesterday. What was busy yesterday could not react to it. Uh, I'm very excited about doing this with you here and now. Super pumped. Love both the first movies. Mia Goth is an amazing actress. Uh, she was in both those movies as well. Specifically Pearl. Just at the end, alone, when the credits are rolling up, and she's just like... <laughs> just completely batshit crazy ex-girlfriend material going on right there. Uh, you don't want that. In your hood, but I'm so I'm so excited for this because I you're taking an awesome slasher movie that turned into this weird pseudo franchise, this crazy batshit cuckoo weirdo thing that Ty West is doing, and it's turned into this franchise where each film feels original, and I can't wait to see what they do with this. Let's do it together, Steve. Let's watch it together. Here we go. Sucking, fucking, and touching. So, Maxine. Your agent tells us you're quite a popular name in adult film and entertainment, is that correct? I'm curious, did you always want to be in that line of work? I always wanted to be famous. If you need to read off the sides we gave you, just go ahead, all right? I know the lines. I have that same dress. She turns to the camera and through her trauma, addresses the lens directly. I was born that year. Who got their start in horror movies? Jamie Lee Curtis, John Travolta, Demi Moore, Brooke Shields, and Maxine fucking Mace. I don't like walking out here with a freaking Night Stalker guy in the loose. The Night Stalker. Night Stalker. Night Stalker. It's terrorizing Los Angeles. I can handle myself. So said every bad girl in Hollywood. Hey, Maxine. I'm the private detective. I had to find you. My employer is a very powerful man. The past. Bates Motel. He finished with you. It's gonna keep knocking at your door. Tragically, another victim of the Night Stalker. That guy's a good actor. I knew three people who were murdered in three days. I'd be pretty scared. What are you hiding, Maxine? If I tell you something, we've got confidentiality. What'd you do? This is the defining role of your career. What was going on in your life that's interfering with this picture? Squash it. I intend to. Ooh! For an object! Maxine! 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 You're a fucking movie star. Man, there was, there was so much in that trailer. There was so much happening in that trailer. It's like, it's all too much to take in, as Lincoln Park would say. I, man, it looks awesome. It looks amazing. I love, we knew they were going to go the aesthetic effect, for sure, for the uh, 80s aesthetic, obviously. Seeing it is, is a totally different thing. And having Kevin Bacon, with that cool-ass Kevin Bacon voice that he was doing there, uh, in yet another horror movie to add to his illustrious horror IMDb. He was the bomb in Stir of Echoes, yo. But you got the whole Night Stalker thing going on in the background, so it's placed during a realistic time with a realistic serial killer out on the streets. I don't know if he's going to play a part in this. There's a ton of good actors in this movie. So Giancarlo Esposito is in there, and a bunch of other people that are good actors you saw in that trailer. And Mia Goth has remained obviously... Stay I'm going to be fucking star like doing the same shit that she was doing but she was great in those first two movies so you know hopefully she's not out there kicking people in the fucking head stop it mia look at me stop it i'm just kidding but yeah i mean hopefully that didn't happen but if it did then stop it but no i think it's gonna be awesome what a cool trilogy this is gonna be when you put all that together when you put x together with pearl and then it just turns into this wild 80s movie that ties into what's going on in real life with the vhs and the the rental and the and all that stuff and i guess there was a smut tape she found i don't know if that was her killing somebody that was filmed on tape them throwing the bates motel in there was dope as shit and again just love kevin bacon's character in that so i think this looks 
badass. I think this is that trailer is as good as I would have hoped. Didn't give away like anything about any kills, which is beautiful for this to be a slash arrest type of movie. I saw nothing giving away any kills in that trailer, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, it, it kind of, I know this sounds fucked up, but it kind of feels like 80s true crime scream just smushed together into a smush motion. But more importantly, I think it's going to be pretty damn original. So yeah, looks awesome to me. I can't fucking wait. Maxine coming out. And guess what? We are back Friday fucking night, 8 p.m. Eastern live stream for your mom. Tell her to tune in. We'll be back 8 p.m. Eastern on Friday night. We can't wait. We're going to have so much fun. We've missed you guys. We'll see you soon. Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit. Wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover. Dr. Challenge drunk again. Sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said God damn. God damn you, fucker. Halloween never ends, suck my fucking dick, and I don't really care what Blumhouse fucking says. Put him in a box, or suck a fucking cock. You can say he's dead, but we all know he's not. Yeah. So let's go trick or treating, let's go fucking drinking, let's all go in pumpkin head on VHS.